Good morning, grade 6. Welcome to our lesson for this day, which is solving word problems involving fractions. So, the ba yung mga previous lessons natin are about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. Now, let's apply those in solving word problems. So, let's have here an example number 1. Martha spent three-fourths of her allowance on food and shopping. What fraction of her allowance had she left? So, remember that yung whole natin ay laging equal sa 1. So, kung ang allowance ni Martha ay 1, then isusubtract natin yung three-fourths na nagasas niya dun sa food and shopping. So, ayan, 1 minus three-fourths. And, di ba, kapag whole number minus natin sa fraction, gawin natin yung whole number ng fraction. So, ano kaya yung number na kung saan dapat kamukha siya ng denominator ng fraction? So, we have 4 as denominator. So, kung gagawin natin 4 ang denominator, anong number ang pwede natin i-divide sa 4 para makuha natin si 1? So, syempre, yung Sarili niya. So, we have 4 para makuha natin si 1. Kaya, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Diba? So, kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 4 over 4 minus 3 over 4. Ayan. And, in subtracting, like, or similar fractions, subtract lang natin yung mga numerator. So, we have 4 and 3. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. And, copy the common denominator. So, ang sagot ay 1 fourth. So, para mas maintindihan, we have here a diagram. So, hinati siya sa apat. Kasi nga, ito ang whole natin. We have 4 over 4. Tapos, ang nagastos ni Marta ay 3 over 4. Ito yon 1, 2, 3. So, itong tatlo ang nagastos ni Marta. So, ilan ang kanyang natitirang allowance? Siyempre, ito yon. So, we have 1 and yung total is 4. So, ganun lang siya kadali. So, 1 fourth ang natira sa allowance ni Marta. Next, example number 2. Three-fifths of a group of children were girls, and if there were 24 girls, how many children were there in the group? So, para mas madali, gamit tayo ng diagram. So, kung ang three-fifths daw ay mga girls, so, kuhanan natin yung 3 fifth from dito, 1, 2, 3. So, kung ito ay 3 fifth, ang total niyan ay 24, i-divide natin yung 24 kay 3, kasi 3 fifth. Tapos, 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. So, ibig sabihin, each box ay may 8. Ayan. So, kaya kapag papansin ninyo, 8 plus 8, 16. Plus 8, 24. Ang 3 fifth ay 24. So, tinatanong niya yung buong children sa group. So, kung may tag-8 tayo dyan, ayan. Ilan lahat ang girls or ilan lahat ang children dito? So, we have 8 times 5. And 8 times 5 is equal to 40. So, ang sagot ay 40. Dahil meron tayong 24 na girls. And each box dito ay 8. So, ito times natin kung ilang boxes. 5 yan. Kaya 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Next example, we have example number 3. Sam had 120 teddy bears in his toy store. He sold two-thirds of them at 12 pesos each. Now, how much did he receive? So, i-multiply muna natin yung 120 kay two-thirds para malaman natin kung ilan ba ang two-thirds ng 120. So, 120 times two-thirds. So, automatic na kapag whole number may denominator na 1. And sa so multiplying fractions, we have to multiply numerators and then denominators. So, 120 times 2, we have 240. And then, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Next, 240 
divided by 3. Isolve natin siya. So, since 2, hindi siya pwedeng divide kay 3, 24. So, 24 divided by 3 is 8. And 8 times 3 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 0. And now, bring down 0. 0 divided by 3 is 0. And 0 times 3 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. That's why, ang 2 third na 120 ay 80. Pero ang tinatanong, magkano daw ang nareceive ni Sam? So, since 80 ang 2 third na 120, binenta ni Sam ng tag 12 pesos each. So, i-multiply natin yan. 80 times 12. Solve natin. So, first, we have 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 8 is 16. And 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 8 is 8. Then, add. So, bring down 0. 6, time, 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 8 is 9. So, therefore, 80 times 100 or 80 times 12 pesos is 960 pesos. Pero pag hindi niyo pa maintindihan dito using the diagram, since ito ay ang total boxes ay 3 and 2 third lang ang binenta ni Sam. So kuha na natin yung dalawa. Ayan, ito lang ang binenta ni Sam. Pero ang kabuuan ay Itong tatlo, 120 yan. So, hatiin natin yan sa tatlo. Iti-divide natin sa 3. And 120 divided by 3 ay 40. So, ibig sabihin, each box ay may 40. Yan. So, ngayon, makukuha na natin yung 2 third na 120. Since ito ang 1 and then 2. So, 1. Ayan. So, we have dalawang 40 ay 80. And binenta niya ng tag 12 pesos each. And minultiply na natin yan kanina. 80 times 12, we got 960 pesos. Ayan. Ito niyan ang nareceive ni Sam. Next, example number 4. Lurian baked 250 chocolate cookies. She donated three-fifth of them to the orphanage and gave three-fourth of the remainder to her sister. How many cookies were left to her? So, yung first na gagawin natin is kuhanin natin yung three-fifth ng 250 para malaman natin kung ilan ba yung binigay niya dun sa orphanage. So, 250 times three-fifth. So, in multiplying whole number and fraction again, automatic na may denominator na 1 yan. And 250 times 3 is equal to 750. And 1 times 5 is equal to 5. And then, 750 divided by 5. So, isolve nyo siya. And the answer will be 150. So, ngayon, since 150 ang binigay niya doon sa mga orphanage, ilan ang natira? So, since meron tayong 250 total na chocolate cookies and nagbigay siya ng 150 sa mga orphanage, subtract natin yan. So, 250 minus 150 ay 100. Ngayon, ang mga natira ay 100. Sabi niya, and gave 3 fourth of the remainder to her sister. So, nagbigay daw siya ng 3 fourth sa mga natira sa kanyang kapatid. So, 100 ito, ilan ang 100 ng 3 fourth? So, i-multiply natin. 100 times 3 fourth. Automatic ulit na meron itong denominator na 1. And 100 times 3 is equal to 300. And 300 tapos 1 times 4 is equal to 4. So, we divide natin yan. 300 divided by 4. I-solve nyo ulit. And ang makukuha ay 75. Ngayon, kung 100 ang binigay niya sa mga orphanage, 75 ang binigay niya sa kanyang sister, pag-add natin yan. So, let's add. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. 2 carry 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So, ang binigay niyang total is 
225. Ngayon, ilan ang natira sa kanya? Kung 250 ang lahat ng cookies, i-minus lang natin yung 250 and 225. Yan. So, 0 minus 5 cannot be. Hihiram tayo kay 5 magiging 4 na lang. And si 0 magiging 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So, ilan ang natira sa kanya? We have 25. And, gamit itong diagram, kung yan ang total boxes ay 5, and tatlo lang dito, ayan, binigay niya sa mga orphanage. Ito. And, kung tatlo ito, ang 250, ang total so, ilan ang boxes? 5. So, i-divide lang natin si 2. 50 kay 5. And, ang nakuha natin ay 50. So, ibig sabihin, each box ay may 50. Ayan. Tapos, makukuha na natin yung 3 fifth ng 250. Kung ito lang ang Binigay niya sa orphanage, 50 plus 50 is 100. And plus, 100, plus 50 ulit ay 150. Tapos, ito ang natitira. Ito na lang. Ayan, itong dalawang box. So, 3 fourth dyan ang binigay niya sa kanyang kapatid. So, yung dalawang ito, hinati natin sa hapat. Ngayon, Itong tatlo lang ang binigay niya sa kanyang kapatid. So, kung ang natira ay 50 plus 50, 100. And then, ilan ang 3 fourth na 100? Para makuha natin, ilan muna per box. So, kung apat yung boxes and 100 ang total, 100 divided by 4. Ilan? So, isolve nyo, makukuha nyo 25. So, each box meron tayong 20 5. Ayan. Tapos, 3 fourth lang, ito lang tatlo, ang binigay niya sa kanyang sister. So, 25 plus 25 is 50, plus 25 is 75. Ngayon, ito na lang natira sa kanya. So, ilan yan? 25. So, ito rin. Kamukha lang siya ng sinolve natin kanina. So, kung saan kayo mas nadadalian, yun na lang yung sundin nyo. So, the answer is 20. Five. Last example. Example number five. There are balloons for sale at the fair. Seven tenths of the balloons are blue, one fifth are red, and the rest are yellow. If there are nine yellow balloons, how many balloons are there in all? So, using this diagram, ilan ang total boxes? We have one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, 7 over 10, or 7 dito sa mga boxes na to, ay color blue. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ito ay mga color blue. And then, 1 fifth are red. So, ilan ang 1 fifth? Kung ito ay 10, and then, convert natin yan para maging 10 ang kanyang denominator, i-times natin sa 2. Times natin sa 2. So, we have 1 times 2 is equal to 2, and then 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So, kuha tayo ng dalawa dito. 1, 2. Ito ay color red. And then, if there are 9 yellow balloons, so, the rest, sabi niya, Yung natitira daw, ito yun, itong mga yun. So, ilan ang natitira? Isa. So, kung, da kung ito daw ay 9, yan ay yellow. Ngayon, how many balloons are there in all? So, paano natin malalaman? So, uh, 9 ito, ngayon, ilan lahat ng boxes? We have 10. So, 9 times 10 to get the total number of Balloons. So, we have 90. So, ganun lang kadali. Pero kapag tinanong niya, ilan ba ang number of 
color blue or ilan yung number of color red. So, since meron tayong tag 9 each box, so ilan ba ang box sa red? Dalawa. So, 9 times 2, we have 18. Next, ilan ba ang box sa blue? We have 7. And 9 times 7, we have 63. So, therefore, we have 63 balloons na color blue, 18 balloons na color red, and 9 balloons na color yellow. And answer the following. Practice A, number 1 to 5, on page 30. So, remember, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. From the book of Psalms, chapter 107, verse 2. And that's all for this day. Thank you and God bless.